Hello, thanks for stopping by. Today, I'm gonna to show you the trays that I made for the US Civil War by GMT. Designed these trays and made them so that it's easy to pull out all the pieces and uh, you can set them out and work from there. So let's take a look inside and see what, uh, what I did here. And all of these are printed on a 3D printer. Files are available, link is below. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's open this up here. Uh, I made them so that they all fit inside here and fill out the space so nothing rattles around. But let's get these lids off. And the lids are actually, I redesigned the lids to fit in here a little bit better. So your, your main battles, and, and you can set these up any way you want. Um, I'm also gonna start making spacers so that you can space them out if you want them all to be flat along the top. That's not necessary for me. But uh, counters, counters in this tray. We have our dice here, our cards over here. And of course, all our counters. And again, I make it so that it fits to the very top of the box here. And you can just pull these out and set these off to the side and use them as you play. So I kept the map at the bottom, uh, the map, and I kept these spacers. Now you could make spacers for this, I guess, but uh, I didn't go that far. And all of your play sheets go on top here. Your neighbor rules and your rules of play here. And everything goes right on top and then all these counters fit right up here and like you can, you can see nothing flops around nothing is loose in here uh, you can pull these out and play from them i designed this so that you can pull the pieces out uh, with tweezers and then put them back in all of the trays have little slots here so that you can get up into them so the lids go on top to keep everything in place. And uh, you have two large trays. These are the same size as the smaller one, which has the cards. And then once you place this down, everything is in place so that when this goes in the shelf, uh, you have no worries about stuff falling down. So that's what's inside. If you want um, some STL files, I do have them available on my website. Go ahead and check them out. I do charge a small price for them just to cover the cost of the website. Thanks for looking and enjoy.